There was no organization. Nobody had a plan. Nobody seemed to know what to do. When yellow fever broke out, hundreds fled for their lives, as the French never had. He was John Stevens, a big, hard-driving man with a blunt frontier manner and a reputation at age 52 as the finest railroad engineer in America. The first step was to make it a fit place to live. In less than two years, he worked something of a miracle on the isthmus and saved the canal from almost certain disaster. To Army doctor William Gorgas, Stevens was an act of providence. He had no money to work with, no official support in Washington. One powerful admiral, whose medical ideas were as out of date as his mutton chop whiskers, knew absolutely that mosquitoes had no connection with tropical fevers and refused to allocate money for window screens. Now, Gorgas was to have whatever he needed to clean up the place. He found himself leading the most costly, concentrated health and sanitation campaign the world had yet seen. Stevens personally signed requisitions for $90,000 worth of wire screens. First things came first, before the digging. It was John Stevens who saw the real lesson of the French experience, the futility of trying to dig all the way down to sea level. The system was brilliant because it was so simple. The one force at work was simple gravity. No pumps were required. Had the United States tried to build a sea level canal, the project almost certainly would have failed. 